Dito muna tayo na sa wire, no? So also known as electrical conductor. So electrical conductor is the heart of the electrical system. So they are the highways, no? So parang highway, no? So they are the highways which electricity travels to get to um, any uh, from one point to another. So electrical conductors are classified into two, no? So you have the two classification of electrical conductor so either they are called wires or cable no so wires and cables so wires are those electrical conductors which is uh, from uh, 8 square mm or awg number 8 and smaller so pababa ng 8 awg or 8 square mm ang tawag sa kanila ay wires no so they can be made up of copper aluminum or copper aluminum clad no or an alloy of copper and aluminum so they are usually used in residential applications so they can be stranded or solid so a solid wire is preferable to use because they are uh, easy to strip and cannot nick easily so ibig sabihin niyan mas ginagamit yung solid wire kasi mas madali silang ano um, mas madaling uh, tanggalan ng insulation at hindi rin siya kakaroon ng leak o kakaroon ng kunting breakage doon sa ating mismong copper or sa ating mismong conductor habang cables naman are those wires la uh, larger than wires so from uh, if that is um, American wire gauge so that will be from number 6 AWG up to sa pinakamalaki nga cable or if that is square mm so that is from number 14 or 14 square mm up no ang tawag sa kanila is cable so they could be either solid or standard no so they are usually also made up of copper or aluminum wait meanwhile sa transmission naman no sa mga transmission lines so ang mga cable naman is gawa ng silver no so this is silver green natin silver with aluminum insulation. So, bakit silver? Kasi yung silver is mas mataas ang kanyang conductivity. So, therefore, um, mas mababa yung kanyang voltage trap. Lalo na sa kapag sa mga transmission lines in which we are um, we are transferring higher voltages. No? So, kaya ang mga transmission line, ang cables doon ay made up of silver with aluminum insulation. Okay. So, types of conductor according to insulation okay so the so conductors can be bare no ibig sabihin ng bare walang covering within covered so yung covered is nakalagay sa isang sisidlan or sa isang si channel so that is covered while insulated is mayroon talaga siyang insulation no so a bare conductor according to the Philippine Electrical Code is defined as having no covering or electrical insulation. A covered conductor is in case, no? naka in case with a material composition or thickness that is uh, not recognized as an electrical insulation. Habang yung insulated conductor naman is in case within a composition and thickness that is recognized by the Philippine Electrical Code as electrical installation. So, yan yung uh, uh, tatlong klase ng conductor according to their insulation it, it could be bare so ibig sabihin nun walang covering or walang electrical insulation covered so meron siyang cover or naka-encase siya sa isang material na hindi pwedeng sabihin or or hindi siya recognize na Philippine Electrical Code as an electrical insulation, uh, insulation habang ang pangatlo naman is insulated kung saan nakabalot yung ating conductor sa isang uh, material no with the standard thickness and composition na recognized ng Philippine Electrical Code as an electrical installation ah uh, electrical insulation okay so bare conductors are allowed to be used in grouping no pwede siya naka group or in lines provided adequate spacing so dapat mayroon adequate spacing so as uh, indicated in the article 3 of the Philippine Electrical Code no sa when we go now sa ating topic no pag nakarating natin sa topic about uh, chapter 3 which is all about um which is about wiring materials no uh, doon natin makikita if, if ano yung sinasabi lang adequate spacing standard spacing between bare conductors covered conductors are used in raceway wiring or concealed wiring 
habang yung insulated conductors naman are used in any type of wiring application provided that that insulating material is approved to be used in such application. No? So, yung insulated conductor ay pwede natin gamitin sa kahit anong klaseng um, uh, wiring, no? Kahit, kahit anong klaseng approved wiring method. As long as yung, is, yung insulating material na nakabalot sa ating conductor, sa ating insulated conductor is approved to be used in such location. Especially, yung mga yung mga insulation, insulation material ay may kanya-kanyang, ano, temperature rating at uh, yung iba is can withstand a certain temperature yung iba naman is pwede sa uh, sa moisture or sa, or sa damp location yung iba hindi pwede so it it depends on the insulating material kung saan natin pwede gamitin yung ating um, insulated conductors so these are the uh, common types of insulation no? under letter types so yung WP which means weatherproof SB slow burning tapos slow burning weatherproof that is SBW rubber code compound so R heat resistant so RH so kadalasan yung, yung sinasabi na, na ano R so that is a rubber heat resistant no? kasi yung R ito is rubber meron tayo yung rubber na moisture resistant tapos rubber na heat and moisture resistant so that is RH or RH dash RH RW tapos latex regular that is RU latex moisture resistant so kadalasan na ito mayroon tong dash W no tapos mineral no mineral or metal sheeted so MI no tapos meron din tayo yung thermoplastic no tapos thermo moisture resistant thermoplastic that is TW moisture resist moisture and heat resistant thermoplastic that is T HW, thermoplastic and fibrous outer braid, so T, TBS, tapos thermoplastic and asbestos, that is T, tapos yung varnish cambric, standard black, heat resisting paper, no? Tapos ito yung ding solid type, oil field, uh, all, all, is, all is tati, untreated, and treated. Tapos, kapag asbestos naman yung ating materials, yun lang tayong Unimpregnated, so yan A and AA Impregnated, so EI and EA Ibig sabihin yan is nakaano siya Either our our asbestos is uh, Is Pasaling non-impregnated, so it, it is already part of the insulation If hindi naman nakasanwit siya sa insulation That is impregnated Tapos asbestos varnish cambric Outer asbestos braid, lid covered Tapos cotton braid covered Or AVB and silicone Asbestos, no? so each of these Type of ano type of insulation is also um discussed yung kanang application application is makikita rin natin sa Philippine Electrical Code no so like i said if we if we will be uh, going to our topic about the approved wiring methods at approved wiring materials no so that is chapter 2 of the Philippine Electrical Code so don't din malaman kung ano-ano yung mga applications na kung saan pwede nating ilagay yung ating mga is uh, mga wire na may ganitong classing insulation. So as for this topic lang is we are just going to memorize what are the different types of uh, um, electrical insulating materials na pwede nating ilagay as covering of our or as insulation of our conductors. Okay, so we have the characteristics of the different types of insulated conductor. So in choosing the proper conductor to be used, the opacity that is the current carrying capability no yung current na kaya dalhin ng ating insulated conductor the insulation and the operating temperature of the conductor are considered no some conductors may not be suited for corrosive environment some may not be used in high temperature no so thermoplastic no insulated conductors are used commonly in commercial and residential applications so yun yung pinakagamit ng is thermoplastic conductor so their trade name like other conductors describe their type of insulation so operating temperature and application so the T stands for thermoplastic the H stands for heat resistant no with an operating temperature of 75 degrees no so so kapag may H may T H so ibig sabihin noon uh, the operating temperature of that one is 75 degrees Celsius no kapag walang H so the the default no kita natin ito sa baba maya the default um, the default tempe, temperature rating of a thermoplastic uh, material is 60 no? 60 degrees Celsius 
kapag double edge so that is high heat resistance with an operating temperature of 90 degrees Celsius habang W naman is water or weather or also moisture resistant with an operating temperature of 60 degrees so, right? TW so there is no H pero mayroon siyang W so the operating temperature of that one is 60 degrees Celsius habang the application is good for it is good for um, weather or moisture resistant siya na, ano, na material an N stands for nylon, which is covered or jacketed. So the jacket or cover of the insula insulation provides extra protection to the insulation so that it, it can withstand extreme weather conditions. So yung N, the purpose of that one is to uh, provide protection, no? extra protection sa ating insulation para it can withstand extreme weather conditions. So kunyari, THHN. So the N stands for nylon. Kaya yung THHN pwede rin siyang gamitin on um, very high temperature about up to 90 degrees Celsius no and kaya niya kaya niyang i-withstand ang ganong uh, classing weather condition because it has a nylon jacket ni kanyang N then wire sizes and designation so wire sizes indicates the overall cross sectional area so the cross sectional area yun ng wire so when we say ito yung ating ano, shape ng ating wire so this is the cross section the cross section of a wire is circular no so kapag solid ano lang yan uh, isang buong circle kapag stranded naman so it will become um, nakadepende kung ilang strand no but they will surely form a circle no a circle a uh, circular cross section so mayroong dalawang klase ng ano ng wire designation so first we have the american wire gauge or the awg which is adopted by na the National Ethical Code of the U.S. So, the size are expressed in um, circular mills or um, in CM. So, it is formally known as brown and sharp. No? So, yung lumang pangalan ng ano, AWG is brown and sharp. Habang yung isa naman, na yung, uh, yung ginagamit natin is DSI or the metric system, wherein the sizes of the wires are expressed in square meter or square a square millimeter or square mm no so ang ina-adapt ng Philippine Ethical Code is the square mm for the sizes of wire kapag sinabi ting number 8 AWG so that is the american sizing no which is adapted by the national ethical code of the USA no so kaya as practitioner the technical practitioner dapat alam natin kung ano yung ano yung equivalent no sa american wire gauge at sa at sa square mm no okay so the sizes of wire are directly proportional to their ampacity no the bigger the wire size the larger is its ampacity no so kapag malaki yung size ng wire mas malaki yung current na kaya niyang dalhin the size of the the size designation decreases as the actual size of wire increases that is for AWG kapag lumalaki yung number ng wire so, nubiliit yung actual na size ng wire. So, ang, ang pinaka uh, maliit na wire, the standard, the minimum size of wire na pwede gamitin in, in residential wiring is the number 14. No? Number 14. So, yung number 14, yan yung pinaka maliit na size ng AWG. No? So, the number of strands of wire is also a factor in choosing the wires to be used. No? Smaller wire sizes seldom have stranded types. No? So, Madalas talaga pag maliit na yung wire, so it is usually solid. No? As per PEC and National Electrical Code, stranded wires are allowed to be used for sizes number 8 and higher. So kapag tumaas na yung ating size no, from 8 above, no? so ang gagamitin natin is now stranded. So hindi na tayo gagamit ng solid. But lower than that, so we could use either stranded or solid. Okay, electrical wire markings, no? So, electrical wire markings stamp or printed on the outside sheet of the cable. So, sa electrical wire markings, doon natin malalaman ang type at size ng ating wire, no? So, tapos, kung doon yung, uh, aside from the type and the size of wire, so, we can also know the brand name o kung sino yung manufacturer, no? At kung anong klase siyang why it is is it THHN, THW, RHW. So, doon natin malaman sa electrical wire markings. So, 
meron tayong electrical uh, electrical wire color coding no so ano yung mga color coding natin for example we have black wires no so black wires red blue and yellow are considered as hot wires so sila yung mga wires na gagamitin natin if we have a live no live yung ating uh, yung ating ano yung yung dadaan sa kanya is live no kaya if live wire so the color must be black red blue and yellow so either sa apat na yan no if we have a three phase no three phase yung system natin three phase tapos lahat ng uh, phase na yun is live so we will use black red either blue or yellow kapag grounding naman we could use green or bare copper wires no kapag grounding so uh, so they are also used sa mga ano sa bandit to the junction box and appliances connection for safety no the question is ano naman kapag neutral no kapag neutral we will be using the white no white or gray no white or gray color of course ito babalikan din natin to when uh, sa ano sa chapter 2 ng ating ng ating uh, Philippine electrical code no okay so we have resistance in a wire so the resistance in the wire is given by this formula so r is equals to rho l over a so the shortcut for this one is r plus no where your r is the resistance in ohms your a is the cross sectional area in square meter or circular means or cm your r is the resistivity of the material which could be in ohmmeter or ohm circular mean habang yung l naman is the length in meters or feet so for wires to get the area ito yung ating formula so area is equal to phi pi d squared over 4 or phi over 4 times d squared so if the given is in mils no so to get the circular means gawin natin is to square the diameter na naka mils no so 1 inch equals to 1000 mil then 1 square inch is equals to 10 to the power of 6 square mils then 1 square inch is equal to pi over 4 times 10 to the power of 6 circular mils. Okay, so the specific resistance, no? that is the resistivity, no? that is the resistance offered by a unit cube of a material. So for hardron copper, ito, ito ang kanyang ano, resistivity. So 1.77 times 10 to the power of negative 8 ohm meter or we could have that one in uh, circular mean um, ohm circular mean per feet so 10.66 for annual copper naman so that is 1.72 times 10 to the power of negative 8 ohm meter or 10.50 ohm circular mean per feet for aluminum no so we can i think ano i notice na meron tayo dito temperature no 20 degrees Ang kani, ang, this value is only applicable at 20 degrees Celsius. We have 2.83 times 10 to the power of negative 8 ohm meter, ohm dash meter, or 17.0 ohm per uh, ohm circular mil per feet. No, that is for aluminum. Okay, so ito example natin. So, lakihan natin ng konti ang ating font. Okay. Yan. Okay. So the sub the substation bus bar is made up of 2 inches um, round copper has 20 feet long. Now, what is the resistance of each bar if the resistivity, no? If the resistivity is 1.724 times 10 to the power of negative 6 ohm centimeter so ito this is ohm centimeter okay okay solution so we have ang ating diameter is 2 inches tapos ang ating length is 20 feet no habang ang ating resistivity is 1.724 times 10 to the power of negative 6 ohms no ohm centimeter okay ohm centimeter so dito natin ibabase sa ating resistivity yung unit no kaya itong inches at feet i-convert natin yan into centimeter so we have 2.54 
centimeter is to one inch so cancel cancel so we will have 5.08 uh, centimeter no habang ito namang 20 feet convert muna natin to inches so 12 inch is to one foot times 2.54 is to one inch no so cancel 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 okay so we have 20 times 12 times 2.54 so this is equal to uh, 609.6 no 609.6 centimeter okay so using our formula okay so r is equal to rho l over a so first so, muna natin yung ating area, no? Kasi wala tayong area. So, that will be pi over 4 times d squared, no? So, pi over 4, yung d natin, that is our diameter. So, yan. yan. So, that is 5.08, no? So, we have 5.08 centimeters squared, no? So, using our calculator, so we have uh, shift pi over 4 times 5.08 squared so this 20.27 no? so equals 20.27 square centimeter okay so substituting the given so I think this is TBT is 1.724 no? so the resistivity is 1.724 ito natin itong red no? para yung uniform ok red 1.724 times 10 to the power of negative 6 yun negative 6 ohm centimeter tapos yung ating length is 0 609.6 no? 0.6 centimeter okay 609.6 centimeter over 20.27 square centimeter so cancel cancel so we'll be left with ohms no so we have one point 724 times 10 to the power of negative 6 tapos times okay times 609.6 over 20.24 yan so we have 5.19 so 5.19 times 10 to the power of negative 5 ohms and this will be our answer okay next so determine the resistance of a okay so a 1 meter of annual copper 2.5 cm diameter is drawn until its resistance is 100 times the initial diameter okay so we have now the effects no? the effects of resistance in temperature no? the resistance of metallic conductors increase with the temperature increase so kapag tumaas yung ating conductor the temperature of our conductor tataas din ang kanyang resistance no? so given by this formula where the uh, the R sub O that is the resistance of conductor at uh, initial temperature or at T sub zero which is zero degrees Celsius. Then the resistance of R one is the resistance of conductor at temperature one. The resistance of R two is the resistance of conductor at T two. No, then the alpha sub O is the temperature coefficient of resistance at uh, zero degrees Celsius. No in the inverse time of the inverse uh, degree Celsius no? so ito so alpha 
sub O is 1 over T sub O minus T wherein our T is the absolute uh, temperature no? so ito so uh, our T sub 0 is equal to 0 kaya matitira is ito na lang na formula okay so the inferred temperature that is T of the resistance at T is equals at temperature is equals to 0 no? for copper that is negative 234.5 degrees Celsius no? so that is for copper okay, kapag ito na pag kinuha natin ang absolute, uh, the temperature coefficient at T sub 1 so ito yung gagawin formula 1 over T minus the uh, the inferred temperature or 1 or 1 over T plus T so ito kapag ginamit natin is negative so magiging positive kasi ito same dun yan siya sa T sub uh, T2, no? same siya sa T sub 2 Okay, so example The resistance of a copper wire at 30 degrees Celsius is 50 ohms If the temperature coefficient of copper at 0 degrees is 0 0.00247 So what is the resistance at 100 degrees Celsius? Okay, solution. No? So, kukunin muna natin yung kanyang ano, inf uh, inferred temperature. No? Okay. Solution. So, we have uh, the ang ating ano, ang ating absolute, no? the temperature coefficient at 0. So, that is equal to 0 0.00247. Tapos, yung ating ano naman, yung ating uh, T sub 1, so it is 30 degrees Celsius. Yung ating R sub 1 is 50 ohms. No? Yan. Tapos, yung ating T sub 2 is equal to 100 degrees Celsius. So, yung inahanap dito is R sub 2. So, using our formula here, so ito yung ating inahanap. So, using our formula here, so that, yan, ito. So, R sub 2 is equal to this one, no? R sub 1. So, list lang natin yan dito. So, R sub 2 is equal to R sub 1. 1 plus alpha 1 plus ito, T2 minus T1. No? So, yan yung ating formula. Okay, so ang hanapin lang natin is yung alpha sub 1, no? So to get the alpha sub 1, okay, kailangan natin yung formula na alpha sub 1 is equal to, this is equal to T1 plus T, no? yung ating, ano, yung ating value ng ating, inferred temperature and to get that one the inferred temperature is equals to 1 over the temperature coefficient at 0 degrees so, one, time 1 over 0 0.00 0 0.00 0 0.00247 no? okay so yung ating t so let's tingnan ko na yung value ng ating t so, 1 over 0 0.00247 is equal to 0, kulang yata tayo na, 0, 247. So, 0, 0, 2, 4, 7. So, 4, 0, 4, no? So, 4, 0, 4, point 85. Okay, so ito na yung gagamit na to get our alpha 1, no? This will be equal to 1 over T1, which is 30 degrees, plus 404.85. No? So, meron tayong alpha 1. Okay. So, 1 over 30 plus 404.85. 85. Okay, so we have uh, 
29 or 2.3 na lang no 2.3 times 10 to the power of negative 3 no so Celsius degree or per Celsius degree okay so ngayon gagamitin itong formula na to so we have okay ano muna natin yung mga okay muna natin yung board yan so <coughs> R2 is equal to R1 1 plus alpha 1 T1 uh, T2 minus T1 Okay, so I think R1 is 100 ohms no? Let's check no? So 100, ano? Uh, this 50 no? So meron tayong So 50 ohms Okay, so 50 ohms 1 plus this is equal to so equal to sya sa 2 times uh, 2.3 times 10 to the power of negative 3 no? so 2.3 times 10 to the power of negative 3 okay yan. so t2 is equal to yung t2 natin is equal to 100 no? 100 minus 30 degree Celsius okay so meron na tayong uh, value which is in ohms so we have 50 1 plus 2.3 the power of negative 3 tapos 100 minus 30 plus so we have 58.05 so, yung ating R2 is equal to 58.05 ohms. At ito na ngayon yung ating answer.